Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I'm going to show you how to create a visual effect which looks like a VHS tape, which can create that distortion and the artifacting on the screen. You can look at bleeding, you can look at adding the weight to it, and you can also look at screen distortion to be able to skew objects and lights. And I'll show you how to work with this, set it up, and it's a fantastic render feature for URP. And we're going to use an asset from Nulltail, which is called the VHS Post Processing. It is available in URP, and they do have a GitHub version as well. I'll put both of the links down in the description. So be sure to add this to your assets and then open it out in Unity, and I'll show you exactly how to set it up. So if you open up in Unity, it will be added to your package manager, and if not, you can filter by my assets and search VHS. And when you've got VHS, make sure you download and you import the asset. When the asset comes in, it will add a VHS folder, and you can see there's a README file. It's not the best README, but I'll go through the rest of it for you. So to get this actually working as a post-processing effect for URP, we need to go out and find your whichever render settings that you're using. So, so for this project will be the URP high fidelity renderer and you want to add a new rendering feature. So you can add that and you can add the VHS FX. It may have an error, which is fine. We can remove that for now. And you can see that it's named of VHS FX and you can choose which event, but this is fine to get it started. And while you're creating this atmospheric VHS tape, come and join my Patreon to support the channel and get access to over 225 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And there's also a massive list in the description too. Now, if you go on to post-processing, which will be usually added to each scene when you're using URP, and if you do want to add post-processing into your scene and it's not already, you can right-click and create yourself an empty game object or something like that, name it post-processing, and add yourself a volume. So add component and type in volume, and you will be able to add one in there. Do make sure that your post-processing has a layer of something like post-process, and you can add a new layer here. Name it whatever you want, which will make you remember it, and on your main camera, you need to make sure that the volumes and the volume mask is also post-processing so we can show that and also make sure in rendering you tick post-processing as well in case you don't already have it. Now on your post-processing stack where you can add new components as in what's already built into Unity, you'll have one which is called the Vol FX and the VHS and you can see that it has three parameters that we can choose, the weight, the bleed and the rocking. So we can up the weight of the effect and you can see that it'll add the distortion, the color variation and the just sort of broken artifact that you find on the screen. Then if we already have that weight up, you can change the bleed. And as we up the bleed, you can see that you can see the pulse of the light or the effect that the post-processing has on the environment as you walk around. But do be careful with that because you don't want it looking like a party in there. And then the rocking is the amount of skew that it adds to the scene and it looks like it adds an element of chromatic aberration so you can distort as if you were looking or had a visual problem between maybe if you're drunk and you could see two different items at once so you can see if we walk around you could see the distortion on the whole screen depending on how much you want the distortion to take effect but i think it's really really impactful and a really nice effect that you can use if you wanted to make yourself a cutscene or a specific part of your game which you wanted to play some real-time footage or play yourself in a camcorder style environment with a classic style theme. And if you do like these post-processing style effects, I'll make more tutorials on them because this developer has some awesome creations and I'll put the links down below so you can check these out too. And do be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects that you cannot find anywhere else and there's a big list down in the description too with everything. And do be sure to check out all the links below for all the sales, humble bundles and all the Unity sales that are going on at this moment. Big thank you to all my patrons, a massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.